What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back at it again with another video. So we're gonna check out non PG moments in 2022. Uh, there has definitely been some uh, moments that have happened on the show that were definitely not PG at all. And honestly, I think a lot of us enjoyed it. The most noticeable one I can remember is when Matt Riddle and Seth Rollins they were having their little back and forth interview, right? And then they come back to the show and they show like i guess you could say the footage like after the after they went to commercial break they show the uh the them having their back and forth off camera per se and bro that that whole exchange between them was great seth rollins going in going rogue using some profanity you know like really trying to get on the matt riddle skin uh it was fantastic I love that. That was the highlight, in my opinion, of the Matt Riddle and uh, Seth Rollins feud. It was great. It took it to a whole new level. I enjoyed that. It, it, it gave some realism to it, man. So I can appreciate that. So we're going to check this out. Appreciate all the love and support you guys are showing on the channel. Let's do the damn thing, man. Despite reports that WWE is returning to TV 14, the show still displays a PG rating. Yep, yep, yep. This is bull. While the shows might technically be PG, what we're about to see is definitely not. Yep. Like, how did the censors miss this? <laughs> that censor, by the way. WWE actually had an uncensored F-bomb on Monday Night Raw in 2022. What's even crazier than that is that it happened twice. Mm -hmm. At Money in the Bank, the Street Profits fought the this. Usos for the Unified Tag Team Championship. The Usos won, but in controversial fashion, when it was clear that one of Montez Ford's shoulders were not touching the mat. This led to Ford saying this. What a mess up! <laughs> yep, that's another F-bomb WWE did not censor. Nope. However, the best use of the F-word in 2022 has to go to Matt Riddle. Uh, Is your wife divorced? You took your kid yep. and I don't want to see your bitch ass anymore. Bro, huh? this was so good. This was so good. Dude, you don't get I'm not going to beat you up. I'm oh. going to you up, bro. bro, this was so oh, good. Brock Lesnar, though, had one of the best insults of the year. After losing the WWE Championship at the Royal Rumble to Bobby Lashley, the Beast confronted the Almighty the next night on Raw and called Lashley this. Mm -hmm. Bobby, you're nothing but a chicken. <laughs> Seriously, how did WWE get away with doing this? On NXT, they got away with doing that because it's Brock Lesnar. That's that's how they got away with doing that. Brock Lesnar is one of the few people that can say whatever they want to say. And that's just what it is. Even if it is, you know, probably against the network's uh, guidelines, that's just what Brock Lesnar, I mean, he's one of those people. He's one of those people that can get away with that. The Rock is one of those people. Even Stone Cold, for the most part, you can get away with that because it's just, it's just who they are. They're, they're, the, they're the individuals. They, I'm sure they tell them in the back, please don't go too crazy with it, but they can they usually are the ones that can get away with using that type of language y'all may have heard blondie in the background <laughs> malik blade and idris Anofe were sitting backstage talking about their tag team their discussion was interrupted by the nxt women's champion mandy rose who fell onto malik's lap rose was then chased out by kylie ray leading to this very inappropriate moment you just i need a minute they're getting away let's go after them I need a minute. Hey, and yo. if you need any more clues as to what WWE was trying to do, Wade Barrett spelled it out on commentary. Looks like the competition to get a date with Mandy Rose is um, stiffening up. This isn't <laughs> oh, what? <laughs> what is going on in NXT? I need a minute. I need. <laughs> okay. Uh. All right adult moment that happened in WWE this year on the Raw oh after WrestleMania was 38 that what Zelina I thought it Vega was? and Carmella were set to compete however Zelina was still upset about losing the women's tag team championship last night and got on the mic to blame Carmella Vega brought up Mella's upcoming wedding with Corey Graves mm -hmm. and this led to the tag team partners starting to fight each other Carmella ran into Graves lap and then the two started getting romantic with each other very romantic oh. again how is WWE still rated PG 
At Extreme Rules 2022, Edge took on Finn Balor in an I Quit match. Balor had with him his Judgment Day teammates, which didn't make it easy for the Radar Superstar. However, Edge's wife, Beth Phoenix, was with them, and she helped even the odds. Mm -hmm. Judgment Day knew they had to eliminate the Glamazon to win, and they did just that when Rhea Ripley knocked oh, out Phoenix so with a pair of brutal, brass nuts. Bro. This oh, was kind of violent, but it was taken to the next this level when so Rhea threatened brutal. to give Phoenix a concerto. Oh, Edge said God. he quit, but that didn't stop Ripley oh, from doing God, this. this was so oh my god that was not brutal, only bro. is that super violent but it's also incredibly cold Rhea Love Ripley, it. by the way, is not a PG star. Mm -hmm. First off, her storyline with Dominic Mysterio is very suggestive. Mm -hmm. Because I saw the potential in him, and I made him into a man. That's you might be saying, I'm just God looking- damn, Rhea. You smooth, Dominic. God damn it. Fellas, this is why I say stay strong, man. Resist the temptation of the heathens. Resist it. I know it's hard to resist. No pun intended, but resist it. Being way too deep into this, but take a look at how Rhea Ripley pins her opponents. Come on, look yeah, at that. You yeah. mean to tell me that isn't intentional? Yeah, that's Plus, very intentional. Plus, look at what she did to Dominic Mysterio before making him into a man. man. Yep. Need I say more? Yep. A lot happened in WWE in 2022. <laughs> I've seen the best and the <laughs> That's what started this whole thing, man. Rhea wrapping her legs around Dominic as he chokes for breath. <laughs> WWE is uh, this is crazy. Uh, we we were all talking about oh maybe uh, they're gonna get rid of the TV. Uh, I mean PG rating, but ultimately they didn't. Is it's just they they probably won't. And they honestly they don't need to. I mean, granted, if it was TV 14, that's cool. They could probably get away with more stuff. But once again, I think what makes it work, because we're in that, we live in a different time period. What makes it work is they don't have to resort to always saying certain words. And when they do say it, it gives it that a little bit more oomph. And I, I'm going to bring up AEW because AEW is TV 14. They get away with a lot of stuff. They get away with a lot of profanity. I don't know how the network feels about that. But what takes away from them just in a little a little bit is the the lots of the, the, a lot of amounts of blood that they use, which I think can be toned down to make it feel a little bit more special. And a lot of the cursing. I'm all for the cursing to, you know, keep it, you know, realistic in a sense. But when it's just gratuitous to the point where none of those words you're saying adds that extra spice to the feud or whatever the person is trying to convey because we hear it all the time. So that's and, you know, that's that's the only counterpoint, which I feel like WWE has a better situation because they don't use these words or these certain situations all the time. So when you hear it, it has a little bit of spice to it. And I wish AEW, even though they got the TV 14 rating, I wish they would do that as well. You don't have to, we should rarely see blood. It should be in certain situations where we see blood. It should not be a common occurrence. We see blood damn near every week or every other week in AEW. And I want them to kind of just tone down on that. Even though you have the rating, you don't have to go that far. And the same thing with using certain curse words, you don't have to say it. You know, it should only make sense enhancing feuds and just, you know, in sparing situations. So when you do hear it or you do see it, you'll be like, oh, wow, that was, you know what I'm saying? It makes you, it, it brings more attention to the situation. So comment down below. Let me know some other non-PG moments you've uh, seen in WWE this year. But I appreciate all the love and support you guys have shown on the channel. Road to 150K. Appreciate y'all kicking with me. See y'all next one. Peace.